What's up my fellow alcoholics and welcome to the channel and in today's video we'll be going over the P90 SMG which also happens to be the second SMG that you can unlock and we'll also be going over my two loadouts that I have uh, one being for ground war and 10v10 maps and the other being for the 6v6 maps so let's get right into it with the ground war and 10v10 map starting with the muzzle you're going to use the monolithic suppressor for the sound suppression and the damage over range and then we're going to go to the lasers we're going to get a 5 milliwatt laser for your sprint to fire speed and your hip fire accuracy for the optic we're going with a holographic for those longer range engagements although you can use something a little bit more higher in zoom like a 3.0 scope uh, fly strap is what I use for the stock for the sprint to fire speed and it helps with your aim walking movement speed and the rubberized grip tape uh, uh, for the recoil control now the rubberized grip tape is basically for that little longer range engagement that you get for 10 v 10 maps and ground war maps uh, to help you stay a little more accurate with your uh, with your recoil control and pretty much the gun has a lot of vertical recoil and it has plenty of horizontal recoil always like kind of recoiling to the right as you'll see on the wall test but with that rubberized grip tape it tended to keep the pattern really tight and a little bit easier to control especially on those long-range gunfights so as you can see here on the wall exactly what I'm talking about so the the recoil does go up and then to the right but it is pretty manageable considering that it's mostly vertical and if you look at the bullet patterning right there, there's not very, very many gaps between the shots. And going to the 6v6 loadout, uh, same thing, you're going to run the monolithic suppressor uh, on the muzzle. Um, for this loadout, you run the 5 milliwatt laser for your sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy because you got to maintain that whole profile of an SMG. The stock, we stayed with the fly strap for the same thing, the sprint to fire speed and your aim walking movement speed. For the perk, I recommend using sleight of hand. Uh, in the video, I didn't use, I didn't get too much footage of me using the sleight of hand, but I do recommend using it. It helps out a lot. And then for the rear grip, we went with a stipple grip tape for the ADS speed and for the sprint to fire speed. So this particular loadout is strictly a submachine gunner's gun. Okay, I can't, I can't say it any other way than that. This is all about sprint to fire, hip firing right off the gate. And then aiding yesing, like if you need to, to help uh, maintain accuracy on your target and help finish them off. So uh, definitely a fun loadout. And as you can see here on the wall test, it's not the best at recoil control. However, this loadout is made for up close and personal gunfights. This is a smaller map gun that I pretty much came up with that I found a lot. Of success with so definitely a fun gun to use without a doubt and then the last test being this is a completely stock no attachments p90 just to give you guys a comparison of the of the three and how much you know some loadouts improve recoil and accuracy and and the others kind of see that stay the same but both loadouts are pretty much uh and a definite uh you know positive increase to the to the gun as far as making it a lot better but my overall opinion of the p90 to tell you guys the truth it is a fun gun to use um especially my 6v6 loadout it's a ton of fun but i found myself not enjoying the gun so much it just it gets melted by other smgs out there uh the only SMG that will probably struggle against the P90, I mean, there's two of them, is the Bison and the uh, the Uzi because of their particular fire rate is a little bit slower. I mean, the P90 has a ton of fire rate. It's not as fast as the MP7, but it just doesn't, to me, it didn't hit very hard. Um, it, it's not really a stopping power kind of gun. Like, it doesn't, for me, it, it melts people up close, but... I mean, it doesn't have any type of, I mean, I never used any, mag there was no magazine for it, so it's like you only have the 50 rounds, so it's not like it's an outstanding gun, you can't put like an extended mag on it or something like that to make it like 100 rounds or something, uh, which is what I have to say definitely needed for it, 
because you tend to run out of ammo pretty quick with this, which is why for that 6v6 loadout, I, I highly recommend you guys run Slide of Hand. And plus Slide of Hand will also help with your kills after reloading uh, for the camo challenges too. But the monolithic suppressor is a nice attachment to have. It increases your damage over range. Uh, it definitely helps out for the long range or the long shot challenge for the camo uh, challenge for the gun. So it's definitely worth having. Um, and I have to say, probably the probably the best attachment you could possibly have. I mean, it does have an ex like extended barrel where it makes it look all crazy, super long, and it's good for long ranges. It also comes with recoil control, but it also slows your ADS and your movement speed down, which I really found is unnecessary if the monolithic suppressor can help out, you know, just the same. It, it just The recoil is not too hard to control. It really isn't. Um, and it's also a good loadout to have for ground war and for the 10v10 maps that if you have an SMG the, that is got the you have the movement speed of an SMG. You're going to get around the map a lot better than AR users and LMG users. And even sniper rifle uh, users, so it's like it, it, it's not too bad at all. So, like I said, it's a fun gun. Will I go to it for like a competitive situation? Uh, maybe I probably would just to uh, kind of you know trigger all those guys that are sweating using like MP5s or something or MP7s. Like, you know, definitely tap them at long range because I can control recoil a little bit. Um, I, I'm, I'm yeah, I probably would use it competitively. Uh, but it, like I say, it's just, it's just, you know, it depends on the situation. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was a little useful to you guys. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, and don't forget the notification bell for future uploads and future streams. The next uh, SMG will be going over is the MP5, especially after the recent update and the recent nerf to the MP MP5. Uh, I'll be going over my specialized loadout for that. And how I feel is necessary, but to be honest with you guys, that that nerf uh, to the MP5 wasn't so bad. But we'll go over that uh, when the video uh, comes out. So thanks again for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and then I will catch you on the next SMG video.